<coughs> Greetings friends, it's Alexor again. I wanted to talk about one huge mistake I see most people actually make in last epoch. Especially since the news cycle, because there has been an important change to corruption. And especially, it is about... There's two ways to go through this, right? Especially through the empowered ones. <clears throat> so sadly, we still have to go through unempowered monoliths once with a new character. To even get up here. To get to, the uh, to get to the empowered ones, right? This is still a thing in the game. I hate it. I hope they change it eventually that you can just go straight to empowered ones. But that's what it is. So with non-empowered ones, you want to go for stability, right? You want to kill as many mobs as possible because you have to kill the boss. And the more stability you have, the more or the faster you get to the end boss of that very monolith. But after, the, after you are in the empowered ones and you go for higher corruption, you don't want to do this anymore. What you actually want to do then is you go into your monolith, like this one for example, you go to empowered, right? And then you start here and you want to go as far out as possible. You don't want to go like in circles and go here and then there and then over there. You want to go one direction and you go it all the way down. Doesn't matter if it's down or up. Just one straight line as far out as possible because for a bunch of things. First of all, the, the, the further out you are, the better your item drops are, the more difficult the enemies are, the more corruption you gain when you kill the Shade of Orobis. And yeah, loot drops, I said this. So basically everything is better the further outside you are in the Echo Web, right? Let's for, say, let's for example say this one would be a Shade of Orobis. And then we go up here and go further down here and then there's another one. <clears throat> if you go to this Shade of Orobis and kill him, you gain even more corruption by just doing that as if you would kill this one so usually i just go for the first one straight away because you will have to play through a lot of echoes anyway to go to him so i wouldn't recommend you see the first one and then just go to next just always kill the shade of orbits when you see him but the key is you want to get there fast and one of the, the big issues i see there is people not actually going through the objectives fast in the echoes meaning if you go and empower timelines you want to get to the objective from the monolith as fast as possible. You do not care about stability, not at all. You do not give a blinding F about stability. You just go to the objective of it. Let's, for example, say this one is, if I'm gonna play this, if you can just go in there and say what it is. <clears throat> this one is slay enemies to locate Argolos the Blast. All right, what you do then is you just run through it as fast as possible, you can actually just do it, because why not? We have our Rathlord legend over here. You kill a bunch of enemies. Until it actually tells you where the enemy is, like your, the objective of this very monolith. Kill a bunch of dudes. Oh, it doesn't take too long with this monolith, but we'll see. And you can tell I'm just, I'm not even looking at all of them, just trying to run through it as fast as possible, even teleporting. Because I want to get through this fast. I don't care about stability whatsoever. I'm gonna empower my, my dude every now and then. And then we teleport again. Uh, he's bugged still. This bug is said he's still in the game. So you wanna definitely have evade and a movement skill in your in your build. Okay, this takes way longer than it should have. Maybe this is not actually um, finding the enemy. It might just be an ambush map, so it depends. You just wanna kill enemies while running through them through the echo as fast as possible until this side quest, so to speak. It was an ambush map, I see, I figured. Um, usually at some point it tells you, okay, this is where Algolos the Blast is, then you gotta kill him. This was just an, an ambush map, so we had to wait for that. Now, I, as you see, I didn't even have many uh, much stability at all. I just wanted to get through it fast for a bunch of reasons. First, oh damn, who LP on that? First, you go through it faster, so you get all the rewards faster. You get the gold faster, you get the idols, you get your uniques, exalts. You get all these faster, but also you get through the whole web faster. And this is what you want. You want to get to a higher corruption faster, so you can actually farm better items. If you focus yourself on all the, the side thingies, I don't, don't even kill exiled mages very much. I even leave some nemesis on the side, because I want to get to higher corruption faster. A, for the harbingers, but also for better loot drops, right? 
So when you do this, when you are at empowered monoliths, try to zoom through them as fast as possible. Just get to the edge of the web in one line. Right? It doesn't have to be straight, just around this. Always further away from this main thing in the middle. This is what you want to do. You want to get away from that as far as possible. Then there's a shade somewhere. And once you kill the shade of Orobis, he resets the whole web. Then you have to do it all over again. But the higher corruption, the faster you gain stability anyway. So you can get to the boss faster. And yeah, with the new 1.1 patch, there's also you don't even need to kill the boss all the time. If you go very far out into the web, you gain like 30 to 40 corruption in just one shade of Orobis kill. That's already enough. You don't even need to stack the gazes of Orobis. Technically, you can go from zero, uh, right, from 100 to 200 in one go with Gaze of Orobis. If you have four of them stacked and you are far out in the web, you can do that, but it's it's gimmicky. You don't really need to, need to do that. Just kill the Orobis and just move on. Um, yes, also because another, another important thing is not just ability, but the further you go out, the better the item drops are and the higher corruption is as well. So you want to max corruption and you want to go as far as out as possible because, for example, these idols here will be way better than if there is an idle thingy here, for example. Like, way better. So yeah, that, that's what I see many people stop them from actually progressing faster through the corruption, especially with the Harbingers now. So I hope this helped. If you have any more questions on corruption in general or how you, how you should go through the Echoes fastest, let me know in the comments. I hope this video helped. And I will see you in the next video.